This guide is intended for those volunteers who are adding feeder box sample results to the Saving Scotland's Red Squirrels Community Hub. You must be assigned as a box manager by SSRS staff or your volunteer network group admin before you can add samples to a feeder box. You must be logged into the hub and you need to have found the feeder box survey group under groups and right at the bottom. Saving Scotland's Red Squirrels operate three types of surveys through the data management system on the hub and you can filter for all three on this map. There's operational feeder box surveys which can be run independently by volunteer networks and focus on a relatively local area. Spring Survey Tetrads and Intensive Grey Squirrel Surveys. To access your survey data, click My Survey Data either on the Survey Group's homepage, on My Profile, or from the Hub homepage, clicking on My Survey Data. You will see a list of feeder boxes assigned to you. There's a filter at the top of the page and also a search box where you can look for things like location or box name. The map shows the location of each of the feeder boxes and is responsive to applied filters. You can also sort the data by clicking the little arrows at the top. The table shows general information on each of the feeder boxes including the samples collected and the number of volunteers assigned to that box. Please note, only SSRS staff and volunteer network admins have permission to create new feeder boxes. You will also see a samples button for each of the feeder boxes. Click it to see the sample results collected for that feeder box. Each of these rows also includes summary information for each sample. For example, this one detected red squirrel hair and no others. This one detected red squirrel hair and pine marten hair. Box managers can add a new sample by clicking add new sample. Select the sample date. So that's when the sample was collected who was it sent in by, tick any relevant tick boxes, add any comments if necessary, select the determiner, so that's the person that looked at the hair under a microscope and determined the species, and then add in the results. Finally, save sample. You can only edit samples on boxes that either staff or a network admin has assigned to you as box manager. Staff or your admin should provide you with a list of boxes that you can add samples to. To edit a sample, click Edit Sample. Add any relevant information. and click Update Sample. To delete a sample, click Edit Sample again, and then Delete Sample. Remember that in order to see a summary overview of the results of your feeder boxes, you need to go back to the Survey Group homepage which you can do again by clicking groups and scrolling to the bottom or by using this shortcut here. Filter for your desired data and there it is.